Warner Brothers nearing a deal for a new Harry Potter television series. Each season of the series will be based on one of J.K. Rowling's seven books, suggesting years of fresh content. Bloomberg's Chris Palmieri joins us with the details. The Bloomberg reporting is quite detailed that this is part of a broader streaming strategy, Chris. What do we know? Well, yeah. I mean, so uh, David Zaslav, the CEO of Warner Brothers Discovery, is you know the company's had some trouble since the big merger last year. Uh, people aren't convinced that the strategy was a sound one to do this big deal, take on fifty billion in debt. So what he's really been trying to do is refocus the company on some high-profile franchises that are going to cut through all the clutter. Certainly, it doesn't get much more high-profile than this, Harry Potter. And how hard has it been to convince J.K. Rowling to go this route again to? focus in on more TV series. Uh, this has been in the work for, for years, so previous management started it, and um, you know it's still not a done deal, we're told. It's, it's pretty close. Uh, you know, there's some issues that have emerged recently with Ms. Rowling. She's a very opinionated woman, and so uh, Warner Brothers is going to have to navigate that issue. Obviously, they want her uh, unique storytelling skills involved in this project, but probably don't want to make her the face of it, given her comments uh, about gender issues. So, um, so this is a complicated, you know, big deal, but it looks to be close to being announced. Myself and producer John Hyland, we've been playing Hogwarts Legacy, Chris, <laughs> on PS5, John on Xbox, whatever. But the point here is that this is a brand that, that is broader than just the films, right? How has HBO in particular used that strategy? Well, uh, you know, Warner Brothers has had the film rights for a long time. You know, they did the, the prequels, um, and, you know, this spills over into so many, you know, Universal has the theme parks, but, uh, you know, and it's classic the book publishing, but there's there's so many elements of this that Warner Brothers can still tap. And these companies, you know, as they, you know, plan this big event on Wednesday, we're going to unveil the new Max, the HBO Max's new name. They need these sort of marquee properties, these long live properties that keep subscribers engaged. So that's really the, the big payoff uh, for Warner Brothers, this long-term, high-quality franchise.